So every week on Wednesday, there's this big open-air market called the Tianguis in Ajijic where you can buy clothes like this, brightly colored, I would guess, from Oaxaca or Chiapas, jewelry and everything under the sun. I gotta get my day started with some delicious tacos. This is the busiest stand in the entire market. Before I stuff my face here, let me show you how barbacoa tacos are made. First, they start out by dipping two tortillas in this giant pot of deliciousness before putting them on the hot griddle. I mean, seriously, look at that. Mmm, times a thousand. I need to back up before I drool in it. Anyway, barbacoa is traditionally either beef, goat, or lamb. In this case, I think it's beef. So you can see here, they put a portion of meat on each tortilla and fold it in half, then let it crisp up to perfection. Sometimes they put the barbacoa in just a heated tortilla, but I prefer it this way for that extra crunch. They're nice and hot. Got them dressed up with cilantro and salsa. Mm. meat is so tender, it just like melts in your mouth, it falls apart. I definitely like to put a ton of lime on this, it just like brings out all the flavors. Mm. Messy but delicious. And these tacos are 15 pesos each, so I paid 60 pesos for all four, worth every peso. <sighs> okay, now that I have a full belly, it's time to see what other shenanigans I can get into at this market. Look here, mountains upon mountains of dried chili peppers. That reminds me, I should make my guajillo pumpkin seed butter recipe soon. For now, here are a few pictures of it from my old food blog from 2015. It is so good. I am such a moth to a flame when it comes to these things. You'd think I was an earth sign, but nope, Aquarius. Here we have all this really beautiful beaded jewelry, headbands, rings. The patience it must take to make each of these pieces, oh my gosh. I meant to ask how long it takes to create one, and I am obsessed with the purple, pink, and white color combo here. I've never seen that combination before. Really wish I could pull off these big pieces, but I like to wear like the dainty stuff, but I still love appreciating the art and the craft and the time that goes into it. And here we have all the snacks and nuts and sweets that you could possibly ever want. And then they measure it out, put it in a little bag, and you can take it home. But these markets are great because you can literally find everything that you're looking for and even things you aren't looking for. So kitchen supplies, games, um, speakers, electronics, t-shirts. Natural lotions and potions. Gamote! <laughs> Looks like you can even have a reflexology treatment here, and I think I might jump on this because my tootsies need some loving. <laughs> Hola. ¿Puedo grabar con ustedes? ¿Y cuánto me dijiste? ¿350? Uh, ¿Por 30 minutos o cuánto? 45 minutos. 45, ok. Muy bien, sí. Voy a hacerlo. I'm a big fan, just wanted to say, I'm like, oh my god, it's you! <laughs> yeah, I, I, watch, I, watch, I watch your channel, I watch you on YouTube all the time, so all your travel going around, so super awesome. big fan. thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. So you have a YouTube channel. Si. Sí. What's the name of your channel? Say so I'm a Maddie Gold. Marie Gold. Maddie Gold. <laughs> Vamos a empezar con tu pie izquierdo, que es tu lado masculino. Uy, una vez que si tiene dedo así, más largo de... Que los normal. Ajá. Sí, es, tengo más energía masculino o algo así. Más energía masculina ¿Sí? y más inteligencia. ¡Oh, uh, qué bueno! <risa> Club nine right now. Muchas gracias, Aida. Fue increíble. <laughs> so that was 350 pesos for 45 minutes of reflexology. I actually ended up giving her a 50 peso tip because she was explaining everything to me the whole way. Did like a special little energy type of ceremony at the very end. Oh my gosh, I feel amazing. <laughs>
¿Estos son diferentes tipos de piel? ¿O solo en esas diferentes texturas? Sí, es igual. ¿Sí? Es igual, nada más el color diferente. Ah, ok, es que este, esta bolsa tiene textura diferente y son, estos son más suaves. Ah. ¿Pero es igual? Pues igual. Ah, ok. ¿Y cu cuánto cuesta? Me... Eh, sale $8.30, pero para ti ya volviste, te la digo. Sí. $7.90. $7.90? Ok, gracias. So these bags here, super pretty, are from Leon. Um, so they're made of real leather, lots of pockets on the inside. I just have to decide if I want to get this bag now because it's very cute or wait until I go to Leon next week. <laughs> So I mentioned my cost of living in Mexico video that clothes in Mexico are generally more expensive than what you'll find in the U.S., especially for imported brands. However, here at a Tianguis, a market, you can find some pretty good deals. So here we have on this table three for 200 pesos. There's a table of 100 peso pieces back there. Um, these are 10 pesos a piece. A piece. So in this case, I think they're going to be used clothes. Same with over here, you have another like mixed table of 10 pesos a piece. Funny about seeing you. My wife told me I should. See, we should show you. I had a couple fans walk up to me, and I completely forgot where I left off with this. But I think what I was saying is, in a lot of these times, it's used clothing you kind of sort through. But then they also have secondhand sort of Costco and other brands where it still has the tags on it, but for a really good price. And as I've said before, I have absolutely no shame buying used stuff or secondhand or anything like that. But I have to really, really be in the mood to go shopping to do any of that, especially sorting through piles of stuff when it's not all on the hangers at the least. Yeah. Oof, I gotta love all these wood things. Okay. Okay, um, well, this is totally going to ruin the surprise, but my mom collects turtles, and so I try to get her a turtle something everywhere I go. And this is a turtle napkin holder from Guerrero. So, sorry, mom, to ruin the surprise, but this is for you. Oh, y qué tipo de madera es? Guamuchi. ¿Cómo? Guamuchi. 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 ¿Sabes qué es en inglés? Eso sí, no tiene en inglés. ¿Y cómo se escribe? ¿Con H como Huatulco? ¿Guamuche? Con H. Ah, ok. No. no. <laughs> so here we have it. This is called Guamu Guamuchil, and he said it's actually this tree. Quick interruption because I've gotten an influx of people recently asking, where did I learn Spanish? How did I learn Spanish? Because you want to as well. My favorite course that I've been using for a very long time is called Rocket Languages. It is a great value for your money and extremely effective alongside, of course, embarrassing yourself countless times like I have in person, practicing with people and flexing those Spanish muscles. If you want to try out Rocket Languages though, you can even do so with a free trial. I'll leave the link down in the description below. I am an affiliate of Rocket Languages, so this is not a sponsored video, but I do use, love, and totally vouch for this program, and I think you're going to get a lot of value out of it as well. So if you make a purchase, I get a little kickback, which helps me continue making videos just like this one. So now I'm entering the food section of the market, where you can get all of your produce, eggs, which actually you don't have to sell a kidney in order to buy here in Mexico currently. Um, all the produce... Película! Si! 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 But I wanted to save this to last because I definitely didn't want to carry all the fruits and vegetables around as I was trying to look at other things or get reflexology and all that. I did get a lot of flack in my day in the life in Ajijic, day in my life in Ajijic video for buying produce at Walmart. No, support local, support local. Even though I said I don't usually buy it at Walmart, it just happened to be because I was there. So here I am supporting local, buying produce that is much fresher, much nicer, and a lot less expensive. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was way too much confusion. Sequence for me. Well, it is certainly more chaotic to get your produce.
produce here at a market like this. Um, but anyway, I got a whole bag full of produce for 283 pesos. I'm not actually sure which of that was a more expensive ticket item because I was expecting it to be less. But um, just again to give you an idea of cost of living here, um, of course that included like strawberries, Brussels sprouts, and lots of other goodies. Okay, with all these groceries, I am officially lopsided and my shoulders being yanked off my body. So I might have to head home, but this vlog is not over yet. If you're enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos that I post about my life and traveling across Mexico. I almost made it out, but then I saw a very rare treat, artichokes, three for 100 pesos, which is a pretty great deal. And it even came with a free ladybug. I really wish I got that on camera, but it flew onto me and then flew away. <laughs> Gracias, hasta luego. And one last thing before I walk home, the perfect thing for walking home is fresh coconut water straight out of the coconut for 40 pesitos. Hola! <laughs> You're cute. For lunch, I wanted to come to one of my favorite places in Ajijic called Vegan Town. Everything here is vegan, and as you saw earlier, I'm not vegan, but the food is amazing. And they have gluten-free pizzas. So I got this one. It is a pesto pizza, which I don't know, it's like 10 inch size pizza for 130 pesos. And you would not even guess that this is vegan. The cheese tastes like real cheese. Mm. And like crunchy but fluffy crust. Look at that. Oh. Anytime I'm done eating here, I instantly crave it again. And they have lots of other good stuff like salads, burgers, vegan hot dogs, different specials. Their agua frescas are always very fresh and no sugar added. Mm. This place is definitely worth a visit, whether or not you're vegan. I also really love coming here because they have this beautiful garden space. You can see the hummingbirds flittering around and the bees pollinating the plants and it's just like really peaceful and nice to enjoy a meal. Oh my gosh, that was so good. And I have one and a half slices to eat later. <laughs> so with tip and I left 15% came out to 200 and five pesos. That's actually kind of a, a difference here in Ajijic, the tipping culture. I would say as a general rule all throughout Mexico, 10% tip is pretty standard. The only big exceptions to that are gonna be in tourist places, so like Cancun, Puerto Vallarta. Because of tourism, it's kind of driven up the price of tips or the expectation of percentage of tips that people should give. And here in Ajijic, it's kind of become the same thing, so I, just go ahead and do that even though I <laughs> I typically try to follow Mexican customs or what the locals do. Feel free to share what you think about this in the comments. I know lots of people have lots of opinions about this. And now I'm going to be heading to a papeleria or a paper store, printing copy store for two reasons. One, Finally, I'm going to be getting a Mexican bank account. I know five years in the country probably, probably should have done this sooner And I would like to print out the 2023 vision board that I made very excited. I worked on it for hours and it was so much fun Hello, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Hace copias. Aquí? Si. Sí. Sí? Okay. Pero solo... Blanco y negro? A blanco y negro, pero en físico, no en... no de celular. Ah, uh, uh, USB? Puede ser? No. No? Uh, Oh, entonces solo copias. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, muy bien. Um, ¿Sabe que hay otro lugar que puedo traer un USB? Sí, de esta esquina a la siguiente. Ok, muchas gracias. De nada. Un día. Seems like that place only does copies of physically, like, you know, paper or homework or something that already exists. So, I'm gonna try another one. And there's some birthday prep that needs to be done because my birthday is on the 5th and I have a little shindig planned with some of my friends so I might be getting myself a piñata for the first time ever in Mexico. Man, sometimes I feel so awkward having my <laughs> camera out in places. It was so quiet in there so I didn't really feel uh, comfortable recording the interaction but anyway, got the paperwork to fill out for my bank and they only had black and white so my vision board isn't quite as beautiful as it is with all the colors and it got chopped off on the side so I'm gonna have to resize it and find somewhere else that can make it oh so beautiful. Oh and it costs six pesos, three pages, so two pesos per page. 
Just off of the Plaza Nahihik or Centro, there is this place that a lot of people call the dollar store. Not because everything here is a dollar, but it's kind of like that miscellaneous type uh, inventory that you don't know what you're gonna find. Lots of cool treasures, including this would have really saved me today. <laughs> One of these like rolling uh, grocery things and I've been trying to find one for a while now but not willing to pay like 50 bucks for one. This was 280 pesos so perfect. Now I don't have to break my shoulders every time I want to get produce. <laughs> well don't I just feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I'm getting a piñata and candy probably, maybe candles, but not ones that say my actual age because since I'm not gonna be 30 anymore, it's just not fun. Not as fun. Not that I care about getting older, but it's just 31. It's like such an icky number. I don't like it at all. If I'm being honest, none of these really strike my fancy. I was kind of hoping for like a unicorn or maybe one of the traditional star looking ones. And what candy should I put in this? I feel like I need to put like bottles of little bottles of tequila and stuff and I don't think they have that here. Well, they may not have had a piñata that I wanted, but I did get a little bit of candy and some balloons. Now all I need is some gluten-free cake mix. I'm getting excited. Oh my gosh. It's been a whole year since I had a birthday party. Can you believe it? <laughs> also, I have to share this. This is so cool. The very first full moon of this year is going to literally be on my birthday. The fifth. What a great omen for this year. Literally on my birthday, the full moon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How cute! Candy! Candy! And more! Now these are balloons. Candy! Now I just need a piñata. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and I'll tell you why. Coming up in my birthday month, I will be heading to the leather capital of Latin America for an amazing festival. After that, a surprise beach destination. And finally, I'll be going to Mexico City for EDC Mexico. So you can only imagine the shenanigans that are about to ensue. On the screen here is another couple videos I made here in Ajijic if you wanna know a little bit more what my life in Mexico looks like. And one more thing before you go. <laughs> Gong that bell so you get notified the next time I release a new vlog and I hope to see you there.